Math, information and communication technology tools are digital resources that help students and educators teach, learn and explore mathematical concepts in a more interactive and engaging way. These tools support visualization, simulation, computation and exploration of mathematical topics. Math ICT tools encompass a broad range of digital resources designed to aid in teaching and learning. Applying mathematics all over the surroundings. These tools can be classified into two categories. First, generic. Tools that are broadly applicable across different subjects. And secondly, specific. Tools that are designed specifically for mathematical education. Stop motion. Stop motion is a filmmaking technique where objects are physically manipulated in small increments between individually photographed frames to create the illusion of movement when the sequence is played back at normal speed. It is a time-consuming but rewarding process used in animation, filmmaking and even educational content to bring inanimate objects or characters to life. Formulator Tarsia. A formulator Tarsia typically refers to a teaching tool used to create jigsaw like puzzles for educational purposes. These puzzles are made up of geometric shapes such as triangles, hexagons, or squares where each side of the shape contains part of a question or answer. The goal is to match sides of the shapes together so that the question on one side correctly corresponds to the answer on the adjacent side. The software often used to create such puzzles is called Tarsia, which allows educators to input content like mathematical problems, vocabulary words or other subjects and it generates puzzles that students can solve. These puzzles are helpful for revision, group activities and interactive learning sessions. GeoGebra GeoGebra is a dynamic mathematics software that combines geometry, algebra, calculus and statistics into one platform. It is widely used in education to help students and teachers visualize and interact with mathematical concepts. GeoGebra allows users to create constructions with points, lines, polygons, functions, and other objects and then dynamically manipulate them to explore mathematical relationships. The key features of GeoGebra include, firstly, graphing. Plotting functions and equations in 2D and 3D form is termed as graphing. Secondly, geometry. Constructing shapes, angles and transformations is termed as geometry. Thirdly, algebra. Solving equations and inequalities is termed as algebra. Fourthly, calculus. Visualizing limits, derivatives and integrals is termed as calculus. Lastly, statistics. Creating data visualizations like histograms and box plots is termed as statistics. GeoGebra is available as a web application and also offers downloadable versions for desktop and mobile devices, making it accessible for us in classrooms and at home. It is widely favored in mathematics education for its intuitive interface. Audacity is a free, open source, cross-platform audio editing and recording software. It is widely used for creating, editing and mixing audio files, making it popular among podcasters, musicians and audio engineers. 
The program supports multiple audio formats and provides a range of tools for manipulating sound from simple edits to complex multi-track projects. The key features of Audacity include Firstly, recording. Record live audios through a microphone or digitized recording from other media. Secondly, editing. Cut, copy, paste, delete and arrange audio clips across multiple tracks. Thirdly, effects. Apply effects like reverb, equalization, noise reduction, compression and more. Fourthly, multi-track editing. Combine multiple audio tracks and edit them individually. Next up, we have file export. Export audio in formats such as MP3, WAV, AIFF and OGG. Lastly, plugins. Support for VST, LV2 and other plugins to extend functionality. Audacity is widely used for audio projects to create post podcasts for differentiated instructions in education because of its ease of use and the wide range of tools it offers for both basic and advanced editing needs. Prezi Prezi is a cloud-based presentation software that allows users to create visually engaging and dynamic presentations. Unlike traditional slide-based presentation tools like PowerPoint, Prezi uses a zooming user interface, enabling users to create presentations on a large canvas where they can zoom in and out to reveal content. This makes presentations more interactive and non-linear, ideal for storytelling and visual exploration of ideas. Nearpod offers a variety of interactive simulations, particularly focused on subjects like science and math. These simulations allow students to engage in virtual experiments, explore real-world phenomena and visualize abstract concepts in a hands-on immersive way. Here is a general outline of what you can expect in a Nearpod simulation. Interactive learning. Simulations are often designed to provide a dynamic learning experience. Students can manipulate variables, observe changes, and learn through trial and error, making it, making it ideal for topics that require exploration. Real-time feedback. As the students participate in simulations, they often receive instant feedback, helping them understand concepts better and allowing for self-paced learning. Teacher integration. Teachers can monitor students' progress in real time, provide guidance, and lead discussions based on the simulation results. There are also options to include quizzes or polls within the simulation collaboration. Nearpod allows for collaborative learning where students can share their findings or works on group-based simulations.